full rolling boil. Ah, it's splashing everywhere. You're counting down the seconds. Ah! Hello and good morning, everyone. You guys, it's a miracle. I am awake and I am ready today because I woke up this morning and I saw that it was light and I was like, wait a minute. I don't usually wake up when it's daylight. I usually wake up when it's dark. I look over and look at the clock and it says 7.05 and I was like, it's because I was supposed to be awake 35 minutes ago. Didn't really put a kink in our morning. I got the kids off to school. Just did it in my nightgown. Now I got ready. I feel like I'm wearing a little bit more makeup than normal. I was playing around with some makeup this morning that I just got and I like it a lot. New lipstick and everything. Gotta have some pretty makeup when I'm wearing my hair in a dirty ponytail. Whatever it takes to focus off your head. Hazy, how are you this morning? Did you wake up early? Room. You went in my guy's room early, huh? Yeah. What are you getting? What are those, Hazy? You made. They're raspberries because mommy's gonna make some jam while you're at school. Yeah, nummy jam. I saw it. Nummy jam. I'm excited. Today, I'm going to make jam while Hazel's at school. I'm really excited because I look forward to doing this all year long. I have some fresh raspberries that I grew from my own garden. So today, we're gonna make a few batches of jam. I went and bought all the things I need. This is something I do like once a year. Unless I get a ton of raspberries, I'll do it a couple times. This is the first time I've done it this year and I'm really excited. Hazy, did you find a few toys? Oh, you can take one Peppa Pig to school, that's all. I will take two. Just one, I'm sorry. I'll grab your treat bag. Mom, I promise I'll keep these all in my Peppa. Okay, you gotta leave the car here so you can choose one pig. Mom, you silly. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Peppa Pig's gonna be right here for when you get back. Can I get home? Can I play with the sheep? Yep. We're waiting for Lindsay to come pick her up. It is Lindsay's week, which means next week it's my week. I won't be home as much next week. I feel like when I go take them to school, I usually go run errands. I don't know why. Probably saved a lot of money this week. I did go do that day where I did a bunch of returns, but. You love your Peppas, huh? Kind of one of my favorite things, just sitting out here waiting for Lindsay to come. We come out here a few minutes early, so we get a few minutes to talk and be together. What do you think you're gonna learn about today? I don't know. What about the letter H? Uh, Whose name starts with H? Me. What does H say? J. J. No, that's J. <laughs> what does H say? Does it go? <laughs> <laughs> that's what H says. What is your favorite color? Tell everyone. Pink and purple and green. What do you want to be when you grow up? A mommy with a real mommy. With <laughs> me, with a real baby. <laughs> oh, a real one. <laughs> But guess what, the real ones, they wake up all night screaming and then they grow up to be just like you! <laughs> what else do you want to be? A ballerina with a, with a real mommy and a real mommy and a real baby with a ballerina. Oh my gosh, that is the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> Who's your favorite brother? Do you have a favorite brother? Rye Guy. Rye Guy, is that because you went and slept in his bed last night? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's so nice. Here's Lindsay. Here she comes. She's ready. Have a good day at school, I love you. Okay. Hug, hug, hug. Oh, hug, hug, hug. Hazy's gone at school. I have the morning to myself. It's kind of sad. Let's go make jam. Now that I have Hazy after school, I'm gonna make jam. This is exciting for anyone else but me. I love this kind of stuff. I don't have like a homemade recipe or anything because I've always just followed the Sure Gel. It's always works, so that's just what I stick with, but I usually make enough jam that lasts me a year or two. And one time I accidentally made the cooked jam. You have to cook it, it has to set. So I ended up taking a dish towel, putting it in the bottom of a pan. Otherwise the glass planking together at the bottom of the pan, it will shatter. I realized how much I loved it. Put it in the cold storage and it lasted forever and I was like, okay, I'm never doing freezer jam again. It tastes completely different, it's a different color, it's so much better. So if you've never made jam before, you guys should try it. It's actually really fun. It is a little bit time consuming, but that's like part of the fun of it. Like I just know this whole morning I'm gonna spend doing jam and it's exciting. I've got everything out. I keep all of the old mason jars. So I just have a ton of mason jars, put them in a box. And this year I decided to buy new lids because this box was like $2. And I was like, well, that's worth it to buy new lids. I bought several boxes of the Sure Gel just so I had enough. Here's the raspberries from my garden. They are so yummy. I bought tons of sugar because each batch actually takes seven cups of sugar. Over here, I have my mom's raspberries that she gave me that were frozen. I'm gonna have to do all those in a second. I wanted to show you guys this that I bought. This is something I've never had before. The jars are always so hot, so this takes the jars out of the water. This screws them on. This is a little magnet stick that you use to grab the top of this because this is also very hot. And then this skims off all the foam and a little funnel. But I will tell you, I've always used this guy. I use this for everything. You pour it in and then it funnels right into whatever you need. Cupcakes, pancakes, jam. I always use it for jam. 
It's actually broken and I need a new one, but it's still working. This is what I'm gonna use today. And like I told you guys, I've always improvised on what I've had to use for canning. So I told you one year, I literally folded up a dish towel, put it in the bottom of my pot, and it worked out perfectly. Probably shouldn't do that. So this year, I found a solution because Walmart was all out of everything to can. This is like a little silicone thing that you put at the very bottom, put it in my big giant pot, you put the jars on top of that and they won't click around and break. I think we're almost ready to get started. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna measure out my seven cups of sugar and put it into a bowl. And then, you guys, this is my favorite thing. This is a Ninja. I don't even know if they sell these anymore. It has two blades in there. And it's my version of a blender. I don't really like regular blenders. Put everything in there, put the lid on, and you put this on top. That's what makes it all work. So, I'm gonna blend up my fruit, measure out my sugar, and get started. I started measuring out the raspberries and I remembered how much they stain. I like literally touched it with my finger and it got on my fingers. So apron, always wear an apron when you're dealing with raspberries. I'm so excited I'm doing this, like this is so fun. So I've got my sugar measured out, about to work on my raspberries. And the cool thing about this, as most blenders do, this has numbers on the side, so I need five cups of fruit. Here is the five cup marker right here, and I have exactly five cups for my garden. So I need five cups of pureed raspberries, seven cups of sugar, it's time to start cooking. One thing I wanna tell you, before you get cooking, it's really, really important that you sanitize all of your jars and lids. It is recommended that you buy new metal lids and rings every time. I never have until this year, this is the first time I have, and I didn't realize how inexpensive it was. If you're a jammer or canner, it's probably a good idea to buy new ones every time. My water's almost boiling for me to sanitize those, I think it says, minutes so do those while your jam is cooking it can be a little stressful so I usually do it just before my jam starts cooking waiting on these and then I'm gonna start cooking my jam while these are finishing up sterilizing I am going to start by pouring my raspberries into the pan I'm going to add in my pectin and then get it to a full boil and then I'm going to add in the sugar and then I'm gonna let it boil for one minute and that's all you do and then you take it off and put it into your jars I had to employ Brandon because it gets a little stressful there. <laughs> so I put Freaking the raspberries out. in with the pectin, brought it to a boil, added the sugar, and now I'm waiting for it to get to a full rolling boil for exactly one minute. I mean, what is a Sounds full rolling very boil? very stressful. Where it is just like bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. See, it's not quite doing it now. Not even boiling completely. So I'm waiting for it to get back to a rolling boil and I'm gonna start the timer for one minute. Mindy, that looks like a full rolling boil if I've ever seen one. That is a full rolling boil. This is why you wear the apron because it splashes on you. Now, Mindy, what I'm gathering from this and watching you is one, it is a little stressful at this point. It's Two, very stressful. It's very precise. Very. Four rolling boils. Ah, it's splashing everywhere. You're counting down the seconds. Ah! Mindy. Six, five, let's be done with this phase. What do you do next? Are you ready for the next phase? I Two, am ready. one, remove, remove, remove. Abort the mission. <laughs> okay, see? Now I've got all of my jars sitting here for me. Got my little. Now we just gotta start and just gotta go. Pan is going to be hot. I've still got my pot of boiling water. I'm going to place these back in there. What? So they can set. Holy cow, this is a process. But look, I'll show you. Let's demonstrate, because that water is boiling. Before you had that, did you just drop them in there? What did you do? I burned my fingers <laughs> setting them in there. That was really stressful, guys. <laughs> now I put them all back in here, and I'm just going to cover it for 10 minutes and let them just boil for 10 minutes. That sets them, and then I'll take them out, and then they have to stay on the counter for 24 hours, and then you can store them wherever you need them. Wow. I have finished the very first batch. It is just awesome. sitting right okay, here. So next we are gonna go in with eyeliner. Do you use eyeliner? You do, right? Yes, Stephanie is getting her makeup done, so I'm watching that while I am finishing this up and starting an entirely new batch. Starting a new batch, getting ready, gonna be sanitizing more. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten. I have 11 jars made so far, waiting for these seals to pop. That one's already popped. That one's already, some of them are already done. As they sit here, they usually seal up. 
I have been in the kitchen here for like almost three hours. I'm on my third batch. Kind of been taking it slow, just enjoying it, doing this, doing that. But now I'm on my third batch. And you guys, I totally forgot. My mom, I was talking to her on the phone today, and she reminded me I have these cute little jars. She gave these to me. She gave me three packs of four, so I have 12 of these jars. So I'm gonna do these little jars. I have some Rhodes bread that I'm just gonna make and rise and then bake, and I'm gonna give that away with that. And I thought that would be such a fun, cute little gift for just my friends, just for because I love them. As I've been sitting here making all of the other jam, I'm about to do another batch. I've been listening to these things pop. You guys will see it doesn't pop back up. That means the seal, it's all sealed. And now I can just take it down to the cold storage. All of these pop. So if it's freezer jam, you'll just put it in here and then they'll pop up and down. These ones are not doing it. I need to take this off because this is obviously not 2016. This is 2019. The jam done. The kids are gone. I think it's only fitting that we go pick up some delicious fresh bread. And my mom's been trying to make some homemade bread here, but I'm going to make it a little bit faster. Going to get it done a little quicker. The kids are going to be coming home here pretty soon. They're off on their special date with Mon and Papa. They picked them up from school. They're going to show them their locker, their classroom, go out for some lunch, a very special and awesome, probably last afternoon spent with them. Very cool, unique opportunity for them. But when they get back, we're going to have some fresh jam made here. And why not some fresh, warm bread? So Hazy's here. Her and I are going to jump on the truck and we're going to get some bread for everybody so we can enjoy this jam. I can't. You want me to hold it? I just got back with the bread. Mom, did I do good? You did awesome. <laughs> she said, why didn't you get the big one? I didn't know they had smaller sizes. I just thought I want a full size loaf of bread, so well, I got when that. when you're giving this size of jam. <laughs> we got the bread, we got the jam. We'll give it to the kids and then maybe to some friends. We just need to do some service. Love it. Give it to some friends. Kids just got home from their amazing afternoon with Mama and Papa. Oh my gosh. They did it up right. It was awesome. Rexy, you were in charge of where we ate. Where did we go? Um, Denny's. Denny's! Denny's! Denny's. Okay, they actually chose Denny's. Denny's! Denny's! <laughs> Denny's. <laughs> fries. Kind of worked. And then these two got to choose the activity and where'd we go? We went to Nickel City. Nickel, Nickel City! City. Oh, and I got not a nickel. Nope, it's not. You, you pay to get in and it's multiple nickels to play. <laughs> you pay to get out. <laughs> How much do we owe on and Papa for this not afternoon? At all. So, so they started lot. off by looking at their lockers and their classrooms, right? Oh my gosh, it was the best. Incredible. Yeah. So yeah. cool. Yeah. Which if you guys haven't seen Raga's locker tour, okay. that one's worth a view. Yeah. And then off to Denny's That's and then right. Nickel City and now just home. Guys, okay. what a night. It what a day. Awesome. So Woo. we met them in the school with donuts. And oh, let yeah. me tell you, you guys, these guys are so they have a yeah. million yeah. friends. At school. Everybody was just like swarming. It was Swarm City. So we go to the office and they call the kids down and Cruz the first one to come into the principal's office. And he doesn't even like think he's in trouble because obviously he's not. He just got the award. He just but you got know, the award. He got the, the kindness award. He nearly did a full body tackle on me when he saw me. Oh, I was so <laughs> excited. And then the next one he called really into did. the principal's office was Brex and I think he might have been worried. <laughs> he was a little worried that he was going out for other reasons. Actually he had his backpack on. He was checking out. What a cool experience to get to do that and we've talked so about this in a couple of our videos but these guys are taking off and so this yeah. is kind of like the one big last hurrah with the kids. This is the last big cube of butter. Yeah. <laughs> so here we had made all this homemade jam. We went and yeah. got some bread. We thought we surprised the kids with some homemade jam and bread. They're going <laughs> to love it. And then as we saw the different activities, donuts, Nickel City, oh, yeah. Denny's, I'm uh -huh. like, this is kind of a lame surprise. <laughs> I worked like for four hours no. cooking jam. One up big guys. time by Mona and Papa today. This is beautiful. Having done jam like a few times in my life. It's a lot so of having work. bought jam and poured it into bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Today has been awesome from top to bottom. I got to just be in the kitchen this morning and make some jam. Mom's been jamming. Like every time I come by the kitchen, it's another row of jam, another. I'm eating another piece of bread with jam. <laughs> We've been found in some bread. But now it's time to what? To go pay it forward. We got ourselves some bread. I'm making some bread because I didn't think it would turn out, but it is. Yes. It is? It is. Okay, maybe we keep one homemade loaf for us too. But guys, this is delicious sourdough from Neaters. It's delicious. It's amazing. We're going to get that and some homemade. We're going to go give it to some friends. And some of this jam. With some jam. Off to some friends. But guys. Off to some friends. I was just copying you. Love you guys so I much. You. Thanks for being a part of our family. Thanks for hanging out with I us. A lot of guys. action coming up this weekend. Tons of fun. Winding things down with Mana and Papa. It's going to be a lot of tears. Make sure you're following us on Insta because we may not be taking the vlog cam around with us just so that we can have those moments Definitely together. Not. But we may whip out the phone and post some stuff on Insta. So at this is how we're being on Instagram. Make sure you're following there. We love you guys. Smash the like button. We love subscribe. You. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Now hug. Oh, oh. There we go. I mean, and close. Thank you. <laughs>